Hello virtual students, this is Mrs. Kimbrell. I tried to do a video in my room today and I ran out of battery on my iPad. So I am going to teach you through Zoom today and a recording if that's okay. We are learning to become better writers in third grade. And so what I'm about to teach you is an acronym um, titled RACES that is something you can use to help you become better writers and to put all of your writing into a thought process. So I'm going to share my screen with you and show you a Nearpod that I have. Let me pull that up real quick. There we go. Okay, so if you're looking at your screen, you are seeing that it's like going to the races. You take your reading response to the races. And so I just wanted to introduce to you what each letter stands for, but we're only going to be focusing on the R today. So the R stands for restate keywords from the prompt. Basically, you are restating the question, in other words. And that is the one we're going to put a lot of focus on today, restating the question. This helps you come up with your topic sentence. For your answer because in third grade you will have writing prompts to answer from passages that you read and so you have to have a topic sentence when you start so by restating the question using keywords that will help you do that now i'm just going to mention the other letters so the a stands for answering the question and adding one extra detail about it c stands for citing evidence directly from the text E is going to stand for explaining each piece of evidence, and the S stands for sum it up. Sum it up restates your main idea and it gives a closing sentence. But like I said, today we're just focusing on the R. So let's look at that. To restate keywords from the prompt, this might be an example. If my prompt was, how does the main character's feelings change from the beginning of the story to the end? If that was my question, then I use at least two details from the passage to support my answer. That's always going to be after the question. I would find really key important words in that prompt to restate in my question. So notice what they circled here. They circled main characters feeling change and beginning of the story to the end. I, that's really important to the question. So I have to make sure that's in my restatement. But can I answer a question with a question? No, I can't. So I have to make sure I answer the question with a statement. So you take the question word out completely and you write your first sentence using those key words. So look at the response that they came up with. The main character's feelings changed from the beginning of the story to the end. They used all of the important words without using the question word and reworded it into a statement. That is what it means to restate the question. Okay, so for example, we've been talking about the main idea. This might be a way that you could restate that type of question. What is the main idea of the story, for example? Well, your keywords here are main idea and story, right? So you would use those keywords and you would take off that question word and you would say the main idea of the story is and then your answer. We're only focusing on the restate part, not the answer yet. So you use those important words and you just flip it around. You turn it around a little bit and then you take that question word off to where it makes sense. So here's a video I want you to watch that is helpful. You might need to pause it at some point if you need to. Put the question in the answer is what you're doing. Restate means to state something again in a different order or to make it more clear. For example, what is your favorite subject? Answer, my favorite subject is science. Why do we restate the question as an answer? Well, look at this, if you answer just blue, we don't know what you're talking about. Blue what? Favorite color, color of the sky, so we need to fully answer it. My eye color is blue. More examples. Look at these. They fully answer the question and they use keywords. 
Now this is a non-example. You can't just answer with one word. That's not a complete sentence. Or you can't answer with just no or yes. You have to restate. So follow these steps. Look for who, what, where, when, why, and how. These words get left out when you write your answer. Keywords. You find the keywords in your question so you can use them in your answer. Like what is your favorite food? Favorite food is your keywords. What time does the stadium open for the game? Think about what the question is asking and then look for keywords. Restate the question. The stadium opens for the game at 4 p.m. So I hope that was really helpful to you. Now I have this part of the Nearpod showing, but I'm going to now um, go to Word and do it there so we can do these together. All right, so we're going to just try some. Restate each question below. So we're gonna do some practice. What if my question was, what is your favorite sport? Okay, so my important words would be what? Favorite and sport. Those are pretty important. So I need to put that in my answer. So how would I re restate that? I'm talking, somebody's asking me about my favorite sport, right? So it would be my favorite sport is. And then you have whatever answer you have. But that is how you turn it around. And that is how you restate. You do not use this question word right here. You do not use that question word at all. It's completely taken out because remember, you can't answer a question with a question. You have to answer a question with a statement or a declarative sentence. So what we're doing is we are creating a declarative sentence. All right, let's try the next one. Why are you so upset? What's your important word? Maybe so upset, right? Let's underline that. And then let's restate it. Someone is asking me, so I could say what? I am upset. And what word can we use to tell why? We've been doing that with cause and effect. Because. I am upset because. And you see how you restate that question? Okay, let's try the next one. Where did you shop for clothes? Well, we've got a verb that's pretty important here, right? Shop is important. Clothes are definitely important, that's a noun. So you're definitely looking for like verbs and nouns. Those are super important to the words you look for when you're restating. So this one is asking me where, but it's also asking me about me. So I could start it again with I shopped. You could even change your tense and that is okay. You can change your verb tense and say I shopped for clothes at and then answer it with whatever place you got your clothes. But that is how you would restate that question. Okay, let's try a couple of more. When did you eat supper? Well, is the verb important again? Yes. Is the noun important? Yes. So we're gonna underline it. Now, let's restate that. Again, it's asking me the question. So I could say I, and again, if I'm saying something I've already done, I can actually change the verb tense and change eat to eight. I ate supper, sorry, at, and then complete the answer. The sky's the limit. Maybe you ate supper at seven o'clock. I ate supper at the restaurant, okay? Um, sorry, not at the restaurant because I said when, I apologize. Maybe I ate supper after the movie. Any of that would work. But do you see how we used our important words and then restated? All right, let's try one more. How did you learn to ride your bike? Well, what are our important words here? Is the verb important? Definitely, learn is important. We're gonna underline that. What about ride your bike? Yes, because that is what our question's asking. So those words are super important. So let's restate that. Again, they're asking me that question. So I could say what? I learned, I've already learned how to do it right. So it is okay if I change the tense sometimes. I learned how to ride my bike, not your bike, because I'm talking about my bike, by, look at there. Then you say how you learned to ride your bike. 
but you use those important words in the question to restate it. And that's how you restate a question. Now, these are basic restates of questions. Once we get into writing prompts, we're going to be looking for evidence from passages to prove our answer, but this gives you an idea of how you are gonna take those words and just restate it into making a um, restatement of that question. Really focus on looking at those main words, okay? So, sorry, take that out. I guess I'll say save. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, I'm trying to go back to my Nearpod here. Let me look. Thank y'all for being patient with me. Okay, there's one more thing I wanna show you because it gives a really good example of what not to do. So watch this. All right, this is a discussion about restating the question in race. Okay, so the first letter. So if this is our question for an example, why did European explorers come to America? An example of restating the question is European explorers came to America because, okay, this is what resetting is not. Okay? If we have that same question, why did European explorers come to America? You are not just copying, pasting it, leaving off the question mark and adding because that makes no sense. Why did European, Amer European explorers come to America because makes no sense. Okay? It's like saying, what's your favorite color? And then you just copy and paste the question. So you say, what is your favorite color blue? Makes no sense, okay? Instead, for what's your favorite color, I would say, my favorite color is blue. Okay. So when you're restating the question, you are not copying and pasting it. If you copy and paste, you are doing it wrong. You are rewriting it, in a sense, instead of restating, to make sense. That you're making a sentence, not a question, and leaving off a question mark and adding the word because, okay? I only talk about this because this is what I see a lot, and I want to prevent that from happening to you. Okay, boys and girls, so I hope that that was helpful to you. Um, and I know it's very hard to teach writing online, so I hope this was helpful to you. And like I said, it will get more in depth. You, you just won't have one answer like on the questions that we just tried, but I just wanted you to get used to using those keywords to actually restate that question and not do a question for a question. So I really enjoyed teaching you today. Bye. <laughs>